slightly better. All right. Hello, everyone. Weird shadow now all of a sudden. Anyways, uh, hello. How are you? Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Wherever in the world you happen to be, Crow Ravel here, and we are back with some FTL. I hope you've had an excellent week or weekend. How's everyone doing? Uh, admittedly, my right week's been a little bit rough, mostly due to my own actions. Working through some stuff, but uh, such is life. So we are on a uh, random win streak of six, having cleared Slug A and B, the Federation B, Mantis B, Crystal A, and Stealth C. Let's see what ship we get for us this evening. Can I do the Mantis? Oh no, this is Mantis C. All right. Uh, rename. Because... All right, uh, so this is the Mantis C. It is one of the three ships that starts with a four-person boarding uh, teleporter. Uh, it does all start with shields, engines, as two power and weapons, which means it doesn't have the penalty, like typically I spend 40 scrap on, but we only start with a lock bomb and a stun bomb, which aren't actually weapons. They don't deal any damage to uh, systems per se. Stun bomb deals one ion damage. Uh, lock bomb can sort of keep enemies out of room. Uh, we do start with a uh, clone bay as well, level 2, which is nice. Uh, it's typically what I prefer to have on a ship, clone bay allowing not inherently more blue options than a med bay, but allows us a lot of uh, events that we normally would not risk when having a med bay to take those. Go away. Oh. There we go. Um... We also have uh, an NG, so NG can do uh, fix and repair stuff, and we also have Mantis pheromones, which we could potentially sell. So what's good about this ship is we have a couple blue options, four-person teleporter is incredibly strong, excellent venting throughout the ship. Um, the problem, and, and of course, getting crew kills generates additional scrap. Oh, these weapons are really bad. Um, so we run into like enemy ships with strong weapons, uh, Zoltan shields. Uh, we have very limited interaction with those. Also, the Lanius is not a particularly good boarder. It doesn't play well with others on the fact that it decides to eat all the oxygen out of the room. Ah, but, um, you know, the, it can turn runs around pretty fast. So the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. All right, so we put the mantis in the teleporter. And turn on all of our weapons. Weapons. Hey, Tic Tac Foe, how are you? Welcome back to the Murder Most Foul. Thank you for your continued support. How's it going? Reporting for duty. Join. Oh, you can be the uh, you can be our lovely NG. Work. NG's most likely going to die a lot less than my boarding crew. Ah, uh, all right. So sector one, we want to upgrade our shields first, get our level two shields, uh, then find an actual weapon. Small bomb would be excellent. Um, all right, so this has drones. Basic laser and a combat drone. Okay, we're just going to move on over there and board with the Lanius. Ah, the question is where to board. So it's possible this is a buffer point in here and we take a lot of damage. I, but this thing can crack two shields, so I think we go and try and... Um, Take down the uh, drone control first. Hey, Riot, how are you doing? Now, the reason we're doing this is we are, we could potentially get damaged here in the clone bay. And we don't want that. For the Lanius, since it doesn't require oxygen. That's a good dodge. 
Please don't have a buffer point. That's lovely. Okay, so now we're completely and totally safe. So we can send the Mantis to help. It's just that this process is going to take an exceedingly long amount of time. Bum, 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 bum. So this is the, uh, this is the very slow portion of, uh, boarding run. Is, uh... Dealing with these AI ships. I mean, at least we have a way to interact with them. Uh, often you can't board into them because you could lose crew. Clone Bay allows for it, as well as having this uh, Lanius makes it a lot easier. So, as I said, um, our primary goal, our initial goal, will be to get our second shield online. Um, after that, uh, I would like a way to deal with Zoltan shields because I. Using a stun bomb, like, it would require, uh, three stun bombs to hit before I can board. Um, not the best. That's not the best. That's not what you want. It's not ideal. Um, but crew is also really important. Um, being able to essentially get more crew to take full advantage of our four-person teleporter, uh, allows us just to kill enemy crew that much faster. That's essentially how we would negate taking damage is inherently that we uh, interact with their weapon systems, but that we just kill them before their weapon systems fight them too often. We'll see. Anyways. Let's try and see if we can actually speed it up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be cycling through our clone bay quite a bit. Or cycling our crew through our clone bay quite a bit. Okay, we have a buffer point here. Back over. Mm. Oh, it's tedious. A lot of <laughs> a lot of FTL is a little bit tedious. Playing slow is actually the right way to play, though. Um, you know, make sure you correct decisions and whatnot. Uh, 14 scrap, 9 scrap, and a chain ion. Okay, chain ion is terrible, but it is worth money. Fires 3 power, takes 14 seconds to fire a single ion. Okay. And now I have to wait for a crew to clone. Oh, that's what I didn't get. I didn't uh, set up my very weak cheat ha engine. Anything that just helps us uh, speed training. No, 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 not full screen. That's okay. That is okay, game. There. And uh, Riot, we'll get Riot on board. Riot, we'll come on board. Uh, we do have 23 scrap, though. Make sure... Okay, we don't have any jumps to go to, so we'll go ahead and buy a buffer point in our shield system. Apparently, I also didn't save spots. It's really strong to have these buffer points to know that we can take a damage to our shield system and it still functions. I can do one, two, three, four, five. Looking forward to sucking all the oxygen out of the room. Well, that's that's good, because you're... You just... It's, it's kind of innate. With the Lanius. Uh, okay, this is a fight. Looks like the... Uh, probably basic laser, basic laser small bomb. Um, so one shield for the small bomb. Get my O2 up. They don't have a med bay. They're going single basic laser, so our shield is good. And we go over and say hello. All right, we're going to try and get some 2v1 times by running between different rooms. You can see the AI switching back and forth between crew members, piloting and not piloting, just to get a little bit of an advantage. Let's see, so 91 health, our other crew's at 59 health, and we've already almost killed one.
Okay, that's taking the oxygen out of the room. Make sure our clone bay is online. And we uh, are going to back the mantis out and send this crew member back and forth until they die. Nice. So the reason we do that is I cannot send the Lanius out the airlock. Can't send Riot out the airlock. Uh, wouldn't uh, affect them. So instead what we're doing is uh, allowing them to die over on the enemy ship. So we get that full heal and 100 health. Shield. I don't I didn't get enough money for anything else. We power up our engines. Make sure our shield is shields are maxed before we jump. Boy, I, I almost screwed up a, a run a little while ago because I just didn't up level up my sh or I didn't put my shields all the way up. After <laughs> the drive, you want to cycle? Yes, yes. No, it's like uh, well, they do have with those different tiers for recycling. Um, okay. A stun bomb could be used here. Uh, they're also going to board us. And we'll board them. Oh, they have a door system. Oh, and you boarded into my doors. Um, all right, hold on. That's actually really annoying. That's properly annoying. Alright, but they don't have a way to heal, and since we're already finding the NG, that lets me believe that that's the only crew that they have. These two here. This is it six or seven in a triangle? I'm gonna ask. Alright, so that didn't hit any vital systems. I guess technically I should not have boarded here. I should have boarded in the shields and then my stun bomb would be able to do something here. Right now it would hit, hit both of the... Hit both. That's not good. Mm. I should have turned off my shields earlier to try and get the ion to hit a different system. In the hopes the ion hit a different system with shields being up. And then we don't take damage. We only took one there. I mean, we are going to win this fight. Seven scrap and a flak gun mark two. That is interesting. So that is, it's, I think that's 40 scrap plus seven. But, um, like I said, we don't have a way really to deal with Zoltan shields. We can kind of use that. It would take 21 seconds to fire. Or, like I said, we could just find a store and sell it for some good money. Um, alright. So we actually do want to find a store. Uh, typically, Sector 1 is not, like, paramount. Uh, you're normally upgrading your shields, uh, trying to fix what's wrong with your ship. Um, but in this case, hey, we have two weapons to potentially sell. As well as an augment that can be, uh, quite a bit of money. So we want to are now like sort of push ahead in the sector and try and find where the stores are located. Hey there, uh, I'm going to defend the outposts, beam and that. Okay, we could potentially be harmed here. Well, if we don't get hit in the shields, uh, let's take that weapon offline first. Moment of truth. Uh, beam weapon got there. We pause. Vent. Turn off the oxygen. All right, there we go. I mean, the other possibility was putting mantis in the engines for dodging, but I figured maybe getting a slightly faster charge shield time might really have gotten us there. All right, and we board over. 
So I think this is uh, this was an event. I don't know how many events that have double rewards and there's the possibility that the AI runs away. I wouldn't think it's many. Um, but these AI ships, if they are uh, not running at the start of the fight, it means that they're not going to run. Uh, if we cause any breach in their systems, they won't be able to repair that system ever. to punch. Lovely. And their systems are actually considered banned. That's why if, uh, get that crude bonus. So that's why if you, uh, punch piloting down to, like, level one piloting, the ship still has dodge. Move. Uh, also, we could find a ship to farm. Um, that's... I mean, hmm, I was gonna say, that'd be great if we could find a ship to farm to get, like, higher evasion. But honestly, we don't actually want our NG as the pilot, where we want, you know, our matches to board with, so... It's not as, I guess, advantageous, because then we're eventually gonna switch away from those two crew members. I don't know if, every, uh, if people were around here, but I had a slug B run where I spent the time to, like, farm experience, and then, like, the next jump it later was an AI ship, and, um, I, had, I was cycling through my crew so much that they essentially lost all the experience that we spent, you know, 20 minutes gaining. Oops. All right, how much money we got? Nine and 13, okay. I mean, this is a really strong start. We already got to our second shield, which is nice. We have two weapons to sell or use, if, depending on what we find in a store. Um, would have liked a crew member. How much does it cost me? 25 scrap to upgrade weapons. So that's another possibility. Oh, so just FYI, you actually don't have to have this powered if you lose a crew member in an event. Um, all right, there's my store. Do I just want it now? Do I take a couple extra jumps to be... Yeah, let's take a couple extra jumps. We got our second shield online. Um, okay, well, this ship is like, I don't really care about your shield. Fair enough. And, jeez, and it has a uh, med bay. That's two bad things for us. I should have gone to the store. Um, I inherently don't know if I can actually win this. Um, the problem being that they have a missile weapon. That just hit me in the shields. <sighs> I'm contemplating whether I should just let them run, because this fight is really, really bad. here. Um, I mean, like, getting the missile offline doesn't really help us. <sighs> they just keep hitting me in the shields, too. I really don't know what to do. Okay, what I should have done is use the lock bomb and then boarded into here. That would have been the correct play. Um, we're just gonna pull back and let them run away to mitigate the amount of damage we're gonna take in this fight or run ourselves. Well, that slows my ability to run. Okay, I guess you technically can help pull that there. Um, this is just a really gross weapon setup. 
uh, even though we got our second shield online, we're just not able to interact with the ship enough. Plus, it's running away, like, so I just don't have the time to kill this ship without, like, my crew being taken away. I'll just keep hitting all the good systems. I mean, we do have a lot of money, so we can make up the hull damage we took here. Hopefully. No, 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 yeah, go ahead, run away. Just go away. Well, we're just going to the store now. That was really bad. That was just a really bad fight, and I should have used the lock bomb. Um, okay, let's repair the O2. I should have just paused and thought about it. There was no reason to just, like, rush and just do it on the fly. Uh, then I would have come up with a better idea. I mean, it did stink that they had us in the shields repeatedly with the missile. But, so the right call would have been charge the lock bomb, dodge whatever we could, then lock bomb into their weapons, board into their weapons, and try and take that offline. And then proceed to fight from there. All right, so let's fix everything up, and then we'll take a look at, you know, our options in the store. All right, so they do have hacking. I only have one drone part, though, and drone system, which is pretty much garbage. All right, um... So we sell that. Really tempted to sell that. Oh, you're not done fixing that yet. Okay, that's fair. You don't actually fix when I'm sitting in the store. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's get the flak. Um, I kind of don't want to buy hacking here with one drone part. It just doesn't have any immediate effect for me. Instead, I am just going to get this flak online. Have the power for it. So that's the flak online. Um, I need two power bars. No. Need, okay, no, I do need two power bars. Okay, that's cool. Two power bars and couple repairs. Shame there wasn't crew. I would have preferred to have picked some up. This is fine. It's not like we're committed to just the flak. Hey there! It's the uh, Dread Pirate Tuco. Okay, you have a missile and an ion. Uh, that ship also only runs two crew, though. Let's see what the crew is. A uh, human and a uh, mantis. That's, that's great. Of course, the problem now is if we take any damage in our weapon system, it's just offline. No, the problem with that is if we take any damage in our weapon system, it is offline. Okay, let's switch. Just switched a little bit earlier. I really don't want these two crew members to come back and like if we get hit here and it starts a fire and burns out my clone bay. Or burns out my teleporter. Okay, we're just gonna vent. I'm gonna vent this too. We just wait. All right, 
that's one way, uh, I guess, going back our Mantis. Uh, I'm not happy that Arlenius is on low health. I should have, you know, tried to get them killed, but then my Mantis is also on low health. Actually, these two will be faster. And we got 34 scraps. Can't get a buffer point in weapons. Right. not run into amazing um no i'm not it's a very bad offer for us we want to keep our fuel so we go distress then we can jump here then to the exit uh ng crew blue option okay and another store i mean we have potentially 80 scrap here Mantis. Um, I'll sell the lock bomb to buy a mantis. It's tempting to buy the rock here for the blue options as well. Um, but I just want like a more devastating boarding crew. And we we'll go with one called El Nub Nub. And then some repairs. Also, we want El Nub. We go here. We send the Lanius into this room, and then we put the Mantis back. So now, when we do use the Slanius crew member, they just have a slot perfectly set up for them already. Get the exits. Um, <laughs> I don't think they will ever sell me specialty for four scrap. Door subsystem for fourteen. That hurts. That's like an amazing deal. Saved us 21 scrap. Pretty great. Okay, next sector. Pirates or rebels? Boy, that's a lot of red. Um, we're gonna go pirates here. Rebels, more drone ships. Um, as well, as, of course, rebel ships are gonna be more present there. Uh, drone ships are kind of not what we want because we're not gonna be crew killing them. We're just gonna be destroying them. Uh, pirate control has a tendency for more slaver events, uh, which of course is more crew, and crew is really important for us. Um, so this sector, what we're looking for is crew, slightly better weapons, or just actually there's a lot of improvement in weapons we could get. Uh, might, and by might I mean we're also going to look to buy a buffer point in our engines and make them better. Have higher dodge, more evasion, run from fights. Uh, yeah, we can explore the asteroid field, right? Get a fight? That's gross. Wow, super gross. So what you don't want to run into an asteroid field is a rigger ship. Um, they don't have a clone ba or a med medical unit, though, which is good for us. And the drone isn't offensive. Ah, uh, they do have that, though. That's bad. I was kind of hoping for a repair one, but that wouldn't happen. Oh, geez, they got, like, four crew. Um, okay, so this is really bad. So they have the anti-boarding here. They have four crew. One is a Mantis. The NG, of course, isn't so, so bad. And we're kind of relying on a flak right now. I don't know what kind of missile this is. I gotta assume it's only a Lido, but that's also kind of disgusting. Okay. It's fine. I don't mind beating up the NG. I guess the Mantis is winning that fight. Please take down the weapons. Okay, my shield just went down. That's bad. Okay, I have to get my clone bay up.
Yeah, and that's why, that's the problem with Flak 3. Um, we fired seven projectiles and we took down engines. Um, and now my crew is dead. I don't have shields. I don't have a boarding presence and their weapon system is still online. So we wait and we are going to think about what we want to do next. El Nub Nub is there. Mantis is coming back. Okay, uh, that was really bad. So it stunned and caused a fire. And now I have piloting broken and a breach. Okay, this is just going from bad to worse. Can I, like, get something that resembles... Hey, Cass, did I curse the run? No, I've been having... I was doing, like, really good in FTL runs. Uh, like, I was getting high scrap and lots of ship kill counts, and then, like, my last three runs have just been utter garbage. Um... This is, like, a disgusting fight for a ship that doesn't have quality weapons. Like an absolutely crushingly awful fight. The fact that they had an anti-boarding bot. And my plan is to get everyone here, send them, and just get the kill. And hope that it doesn't take that long. Please just get the kill. It's probably, I don't know if that's the right call or not, but there's like, I don't know what else to do unless I kill that enemy crew off. And take like a stupid amount of damage in the process. Oh no, we're just dead. So I need this like Mantis to repair this system so I can board my crew back so that they can actually do repairs before I get killed by a bunch of asteroids. Okay, please. Please. Please? No, we're just dead. <sighs> so, I needed to run. I guess I just simply needed to run from that fight put all my crew in the shields and not do the boarding. I should, I guess I should have understood that they had a boarding bot. Um. That was just a really bad fight. It was a bad fight, but I just needed to run because I couldn't win it. And it took me too long to realize that I just could not win this run and just needed to go. All right, well, so much is for the streak. Lesson learned. I just thought that I should have realized that they had the drone and they had an additional three crew. That was really bad. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. We go uh, main menu. That's new game. Yeah, confirm. Ah. Uh. Frustrating. All right, Crystal B, uh, exclamation point. Commands, edit, exclamation point, streak. Uh, current streak is zero. So, asteroid fields are just bad. They having a missile and heavy laser was pretty bad, but I, again, I just I just needed to just run from that fight. I thought the flak would hit. I mean, we fired seven projectiles at a one by two room, hoping that we'd hit it and we missed every single one of them. And then I guess I should have just kept that online and tried killing them with that. Anyways, we're gonna, I guess, run stealth B or uh, crystal B. So same thing, four person birding ship, except we have cloaking and the best boarding crew that exists. So, yay. 
Bad decision. Let's make good decisions. So we have non-existent weapons, but we have simply better, better crew, and we have cloaking, and that's a substantial difference. Uh, Inner Fiend, Fend the Outpost. Sure. Maybe you don't have. Okay, they do have some being weapons. That's fine. Okay, they're definitely over there. Ah, the engine room was on the wrong spot. So if the person was manned to here, the crew was there, then they wouldn't have been able to get into the room, but unfortunately they did. Pretty nasty weapon setup as well. Okay, one shot that. We cloak this. 75% evasion, one shield. Yeah, of course you get hit. I send the third one over to try and end it faster because they do have three crew yeah okay that gets the shield black's gonna hit everything Oh, jeez, jeez, I don't have a clone bay. I do not have a clone bay. What was I doing? I don't have a clone bay. They just die. They don't come back. That's how you lose runs. You forget everything that you have. Um... Okay, sending you out of the room. Don't have a clone bay. Yeah, no, that's, um, know your build. Okay, and they also still have one crew member left. Um, um, this is really bad. I really, really, really screwed up here. If this crew member only has one health, that person's gonna come punch them and they're dead. And because of where this situation is set up, I cannot check them in this room. Okay, so they're gonna come into the room and one punch, that crew member's dead. Um, they're not gonna die in time. I, do they prioritize oxygen? That they would move? Uh oh, um... Lockdown. Oh, are you kidding me? The lockdown, we got hit by the crystal vengeance of our own ship, and that's just what killed our crystal crew member. <sighs> that is unbelievable. So, Crystal Vengeance. Yeah, okay. Right. Crystal Vengeance has a 10% chance of a, of a piece breaking off and hitting the enemy ship. And it just happened to hit the room with our one Crystal crew member in it. Wow. So, first off, I totally forgot I don't have a clone bay, which was stupid. And then I actually came up with a really good solution is just to use the lockdown to save that crew member and been okay, but they got hit by the Crystal Vengeance. Okay, that is pretty catastrophic, not gonna lie. They had really gross weapons. They took down my clone bay, or the, uh, the teleporter here. But 
Yeah, I was fighting like I had a clone bay and I didn't have a clone bay. So doing that back and forth was really bad. And also when we boarded in against the two crew, the lockdown didn't work because uh, another, uh, the other person got in there. That was uh, pretty unfortunate. Now, are we like lost? No, we can make this up. We have, again, a really, really strong ship. It is, that's massively detrimental to us, of course. But, um, all right, let's just, you know, be better, make the right decisions. Okay, aid the civilian ship. They have a clone bay. Okay, so this shouldn't have to deal with any crew. Initially. We just need to cloak the missile. Hope we get the cloak. Okay, we got the dodge. Can you please break the system before... Really? You don't. And it's a rock. And it's a mantis. Okay, so I lose both those fights. I seriously, I just lose both those fights. There's not anything else to it. I just do. And... Okay, we're gonna have to stop and think again. So, I can't win any of the fights. I've already used my lockdown and we didn't take down their weapon systems. I thought it would actually last long enough, but with one crew member, it doesn't. If I had two, I would have been a completely different story. <sighs> okay. If I board... Alright, let's try something. No. Okay. Oh, it's bad. Ah. Losing the crystal mill isn't a big deal, right? No, it's actually a very big deal. Um, I, by losing that lockdown, it, uh, really limits how I can control fights. Ooh. Dang it. Dang it, I didn't get the missile down. Dang it, I did not get the missile down. And I cannot teleport back. Um, did I blow this run too? All right, we just gotta move and exploit the fact that the rock is slow and try and get some 2v1 time against the Mantis. No, oh, please just keep starting fires. Please just keep starting fires. I blew this run too. I can't get back to my ship. There's no way I can kill that rock. And the, the Mantis is going to clone back. This runs over. Um, it's over. Okay, I'm going to take like a three minute break. I know it's the start of a cast because I just played really catastrophically bad.
and I need to like regain my focus here just for a moment. I'm sorry, like, but that's that's really unacceptable in regards to my decision making. So, like I said, I just need three minutes or to clear my head, and then uh, I'll come right back. All right. Okay. So I've now just lost more runs in the past uh, 30 seconds. And I just lost two runs in 30 seconds after going like 48 and two. So uh, we'll take a deep breath and uh, we'll try one more time. Please just don't be a boarding ship. Okay, apparently. Rename. <laughs> All right. Okay. Boarding ship. Not a boarding ship. Pretty, pretty easy here. Lost all my audio. Or I think I pulled out my ear jacks. I did. Yeah, no, just... <sighs> So once I lost that one crystal member, because I forgot, I just don't have boarding. Back to basics, that's that's right. Okay, this ship has a mini beam, an ion weapon, clone bay, one shield, we're going to attack them. Power both my weapons and my evasion. I really should have just gone to sleep instead of do the cast. All right, let's fire into their weapon systems. Miss a bunch of shots, that's okay. Ion hits, take no damage, it's fine. Itch, good game. Um, is it better to have someone training in weapons or shields? Weapons. Um, getting that faster volley means that if your enemy has the exact same weapons as you, you get to fire first. Uh, that's a terrible offer. Um, it's, there's very few times, uh, sometimes if you have, like, against, a, like, drone control, it's useful. But because the AI, like, doesn't really, like, plan its volleys very well, there's very few circumstances. Again, it's mostly against, like, an offensive drone. Uh, attempt to download the data stores. Okay, you have a mini beam. And that. Actually, this is the bigger threat. Once we take down this, we're completely safe, so let's actually target the threat then. 
Okay, didn't have a buffer point in drone control. It's pretty often that they do, in fact, have like a three power drone control system. So we don't have to use an Artemis missile here. All right, since their weapon cannot hurt us, we will now attack them in piloting. Yeah, so losing that crystal member was was pretty bad. I'm trying to figure out what I should have done when that boarding situation. Should I just gone with all three crew members board into weapons? I I just was not planning things out at all. All right. Asians down, the threat is down, now we take down shields. <laughs> FTL. Gotta be of right mind. Uh, okay, we have a distress here. First, we'll get a buffer point in our shield system. It's all good. Um, refugee ship drifting in space. Hail them? Hey, that's disgusting. Zoltan shields. Don't be an Artemis. All right, we're going to use all, both of our weapons this time. I have to do five damage to take the Zoltan shield down. And particularly when there's a missile hiding behind it. And it hasn't fired yet, so it is an Artemis. Are you going to hit me in the weapons like a total jerk? Yes, you are, and cause a breach. Okay, we need to fix that immediately. Um, we, we still have our Artemis, which is not going to do anything. It's going to hit their Zoltan Shield ones. Is this even real life anymore? I'm still two Artemis missiles away from taking that Zoltan shield down. Three Artemis missiles have hit my ship. How much health are you at? 40. So the next Artemis missile does 30 points of damage. FTL is just FTL. Uh, FTL punishes poor decisions. I made some poor decisions. I mean, this has been gross, but we can make a comeback from this. We just have to, like, if you play FTL thinking, like, everything's always going to go, like, peachy keen, uh, it is not. Hey, lad. You've missed the first two runs. I've died twice already. It's fine. 19 scrap plus 8 scrap. Okay. Let's get this repaired and fixed. Yeah. Yeah. So first one was a... I just needed to run from a fight. I just needed it to be patient, and I wasn't. So the fight I lost in with the, the uh, Mantis C, right? Um, It had a drone control system in a storm, and I freaked out and went, Oh no, offensive drone, asteroid field, we're just dead. It was a boarding drone or an anti-boarding drone. So what I could have done is just wait in my ship and fire my flak or run away. But because I just boarded blindly instead of seeing what kind of drone it actually had, um, I couldn't take the ship down. Like, I just simply couldn't take the ship down and it wrecked me. Uh, then we had a crystal C run or a crystal B run and I legit was thinking I had a clone bay and boarded like I had one. And I didn't. Um, I may, maybe I should have boarded with three crew there. And so I lost one crew member early to an absolute freak accident where they had one health. I put them in a room and then used their lockdown to keep them safe. Um, but they hit my ship, which at 10% of the time activated Crystal Vengeance, and it slammed into the room that they were in and killed them which I gotta expect somebody clipped because that was amazing like that was so disgustingly bad and hilarious 
Uh, we will attack the rebels. Hey, the ship can't hurt us. That's cool. FTL and hard mode will punish you if you make mistakes. It just does. That's what it, FTL does. It is a game that punishes mistakes. And, um, you know, I, I got on my winning ways of late because I was really focused on mitigating mistakes. Best I could. their shield system. All right, I think we actually got their shield system down. Neat. Do they have two people doing repairs? Is that what's going on over there? No, it's just one. Are we just missing enough shots? Probably. Okay, yeah, I know they're dodging 33% of my shots. So this ship has like level two engines, which is, let's see, 20% evasion, except they are actually missing a crew. So they have only 15% evasion and they were just dodging 30% of our shots. Happens. Just prolonging the inevitable fights. But we'll get that RNG back later when we actually need to kill a ship. Like, when we really need our shots to hit and count. Uh, totally gonna steal from the civilians. Dun, dun, dun. Store. Going to the store with 24 scrap isn't really great. There's not much you can buy for 24 scrap. Uh, they need a ship intact. Leave them alone. They won't let us even try to get a crew kill there. Which is really unfortunate. Um, players have gotten really good at being able to get crew kills without, like, a teleporter. Like, if you have hacking and mind control, you can absolutely get a crew kill. I don't know if the game recognizes that. Uh, forward scout, they're gonna run away. So we're gonna use our Artemis missile to try and make sure that doesn't happen. Wow, you also have boarding. All right, I'm just gonna vent you. Gonna vent you. Gonna vent you. There you are. Also, auto fire off. It's so gross. All right, we got the flak down. That is good. Okay, um, I don't actually need dodge right now. You need open doors. That closed doors, open interior doors. Stand there for no, not you. That's cute. Don't do that. All right, we're gonna deal with the border. Ooh, the power swap. Ah, thank you, 1.6. So they don't have a pilot right now. And I'm not gonna eat a flak shot without my piloting. Because this, so the ship had three crew members and they were both doing repairs and the other one had boarded us. Heal up. 19 scrap. We're getting there. So with our shield online, the next thing we're going to be looking for is some help to our offense. Uh, typically, that's getting another weapon online. I mean, our weapon system is pretty good for the uh, early sectors. Um, but like I said, enemy ships have evasions. We'll see two shields uh, in by sector three. So we don't want to neglect that. Um, store. 40 scrap and a store. I think this sells for like 19 scrap. So we can get a little bit over 50 scrap. The best thing we could find really would be a heavy laser one. Um, I don't think that's really worth getting or uh, worth risking an empty dive for and, and just try and get scrap somewhere else. I will demand the surrender of their goods. You are also running away. Why doesn't anybody want to be my friend? 
why? Okay, we fired a missile because that Artemis is gonna wreck us. I don't need to dodge right now, so we actually want to hit a different system, try and get them f to do repairs. Okay, they pulled their pilot. Is that because something was on fire? Oh, yes, lots of things are on fire. Hey, jerk me. Unfortunately, oh, you know what? That was lazy of me. That was lazy. I could have seen their health, fired two shots, not three. And then maybe I could have got a crew kill here. Hi, how do I play? How do you play FTL? Very carefully. So FTL is, I'm playing on hard mode, by the way, that has a lot of pain with advanced edition on. So that's uh, a lot of differences. But the main goal is to get all the way through the game uh, by making as many correct decisions as possible and mitigating mistakes. It's a lot about planning against a certain level of expectations. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fix this. So as we're doing that, so we have a ship. This is one of 28 potential layouts. You'll have to unlock them through various means. And, um, yeah, so we have our piloting, which if we man it, charges our ability to jump away. And that along with our engines is what it enables us to occasionally dodge enemy shots. Because our evasion, pretty much everything you need to know is on the screen. So it can seem like overwhelming to start with, but uh, really you get used to the UI pretty quickly. And so the main idea is you're going to go through eight sectors, defeating enemy ships, getting money for it, spending that money on various upgrades um, because enemies get continuously harder until we take down the flagship. Hopefully, ideally. Hadn't done that the last two runs. Oh, yeah, you did exclamation join. Good enough. You're welcome aboard. That's all you need. And you are the captain. Yep. All right, uh, so we have the option here to stay out of this, which means we wouldn't get a fight, or aid the civilian ship, which means we have a chance at a double reward by the ship we kill, plus they might reward us, or they might um, run away, not be thankful. Okay, so they have a mini beam and a burst laser one. So that fires two projectiles, and then this fires a beam weapon. So we do have to take down their weapon system because it can harm us. And they've mind controlled our pilot. Gross. All right, we're gonna go and talk to our new captain. Endless coffee? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we see that it's only level one mind control because their health doesn't have a boost. And right now I'm just kind of delaying it so the system doesn't break. Unfortunately, that did slow the uh, our volley a little bit. Okay, too many of my shots hit. So they also have evasion too. Their ships operate predominantly exactly like ours or with a few exceptions. Hey, something actually hit. Okay, so we took down the uh, burst laser one here, which leaves them only the mini beam. As long as we have one shield up, this mini beam cannot hurt us. So as long as this weapon stays down, we're totally fine. So we're just gonna keep hitting them with the weapons. And then we'll go ahead and go back to our weapons, which gives us a bonus. A lot of the systems, if you if you see a person's head over that system, it means that they get a bonus if somebody is currently activated on it. No clue what I'm doing. Nah, nah, it's fine. Can't really crash into a star. Okay. I mean, you can fight in the sun. Pirate ship. Um, we're not going to interfere. They can't break anything. Well, they'll do exactly one point of damage to my engines, but we won't take any hull damage. So we also have a pause feature. At any point in time during a combat, you can pause and think, and you can do commands. 
and those crew members will follow those orders. Provided they're not mind controlled. Provided that they're not mind controlled. So I could be firing my missile here, but it is a limited resource. Uh, shots. So we try to limit the amount of missiles we actually need. Um, so we got rewarded. So we got three fuel. That's we need fuel for jumps or sometimes we can trade them with other ships Two missiles which helps fire our missile weapons mm, No, it's no self-destruct And we got 12 scraps. So that's the uh, money and we got double rewards. That's good <laughs> I mean that's for sure you uh, you had a nice little streak about getting mind control. I remember that all right, so we're going to power our uh, med bay here and heal up some. In fact, we're going to heal up all the way and send our crew back. So, like I said, this just shows our crew and it shows what the systems they've been currently trained on. Um, these allow our crew to save their, their current locations and return them to their saved locations. Uh, we have our shield system, which creates these lovely little bubbles. It's also over here. Let's us know how many shots we can absorb. Uh, engines, this is how we dodge. Higher engines, pa the more we power our engines, like the more we can evade. We heal our crew in this. This pr pumps oxygen into our ship, because if you don't have oxygen, your crew do start taking damage. Then we have the weapons. Um, all right, so I'll take this jump here. I also want to, like, get as many jumps in a sector as possible. Scans reveal a large asteroid field. Okay, so this is a quest. One of the harder things about FTL, kind of early on, or more of the confusing aspects, is the quest rewards are could be inherently different. We could explore the asteroid field and get money, or we could, like, take five hull damage and a fire gets started. Um, but we're at a pretty good amount of hull. Let's risk it. Yields nothing. Nothing is also a possibility. And we'll go ahead and hit the exit. So we're not actually spending any money right now on ship improvements because I want to find a store and either procure a weapon or another system. Chan okay, so this ship cannot actually harm us. If I was not an hour into a cast and already in sector one, this is absolutely a training ship. Believe it, I wouldn't. So because we don't have to actually take down their weapons, we'll take down their shield system instead. Or not, that's fine. Fine game. That's is really good music. Very important. Um, what kind of pirates are they anyways? I should have checked. A few times. You know, no one was counting. Uh, since their shield system's down, we'll now hit them in piloting to drop their evasion. And then we'll go back to shields. Uh, we can go ahead and bring our oxygen back online. Our shots actually hit in uh, mid space. Okay, 18 scraps. Sometimes I get the civilian ship, maybe give us something. Sometimes they won't. This time they didn't. They're jerks. I do not have the option to hunt them down and make them pay. All right, so that's sector one. It's always a modified version of a civilian sector. And now we sort of try and plan our route. I don't like that this is double red. Um, Zoltan controlled or NG. Let's just get NG sectors without having an NG. But they do have a lot of stores. Um, so, like, NG control sectors are going to have a lot of stores, a lot less fights, though. More likely to find just free stuff floating in space. Zoltan control means we're more likely to run into Zoltan ships, which are typically nasty early on uh, to deal with. But more money. Uh, we have 79 scrap, so... Which is, like, 80 scrap buys you essentially a weapon or a system. No, no, I'm a little bit, um, we could have gotten Zoltan, but. All right, so here's our exit. 
Uh, let's try and find a store. Okay, so they have hacking. Neat. What are you, uh, what are you hacking? My weapons, that's gross. So they have a, an additional system that allows them to temporarily disable one of ours. Yeah, I select that at random. So our weapons got slowed down. Wow, that was really fortunate. Those shots timed perfectly. So they actually hit the shield and eye on the shield at the same time. We didn't take any damage there. It's pretty amazing. Um, I'm gonna see if I can take down uh, their weapon system here with the Artemis. If it deals two, if the Artemis hits, it's two damage. This comes offline, and then we're safe to this ion. And now we'll try and destroy their cloaking so my weapons function. And so now we're safe, sort of. Um, they are offering me four fuel, four missiles, and nine scrap. Uh, typically, th these are, like, the reward, the, um, <clears throat> surrender options are normally, like, less scrap, but perhaps uh, occasionally more of uh, these items here. Uh, we're not gonna take this surrender, though. Um, I, I just want more money, just because, again, I'm sort of already hunting for a store. and eh, they got their hack back online. They repaired it. And 14 fuels are actually had a decent amount of fuel. All right, so they blow up, and we get 14 scrap instead. That's technically we actually got like less um, value-wise, but we don't actually have a, an option to just sell missiles or drone parts whenever we want to. Okay, there's our store. Now uh, the rebel pursuit has not showed up yet, so we're gonna bounce around here, just gathering as much money as we can before we hit the store. Uh, increase our buying power. Strange bug, can you assist in debugging? Yes, I can. Wait, can I? Yeah, listen to the pan. The, this is the only blue option for humans in the entire game. Turn them home, offer them a position on our ship, and we get Robert Smith the Mantis. We're gonna go put them on doors, I suppose. Not ideal, the Mantis is really good for uh, punching other crew members, enemy crew members, typically. Helicopter flying over. Um, trying to avoid notice, we'll hail them. Hi there. Okay, you have a heavy laser one, that's fine. All right, we could potentially take damage here. We're gonna go ahead and we don't have a boarding situation here, so having elevated doors isn't beneficial. Um, you'll notice the doors will actually change colors as we move out of it. That is because manning some of these systems like those systems there does have a benefit. So it actually sort of increases the uh, functionality of our doors. We're also gonna turn off our oxygen to increase our enemy, our evasion. Uh, yeah, it's not, not too, too bad. Hopefully. Um, that's a gross dodge. So I actually wanna try and take the weapon system here. Two shields is good enough to deal with this item and we only need one damage to take this offline and this system has at least one buffer point to run this drone here all right so let's take out their shields so taking out their shields means that our um first laser is better i'm gonna head them in the weapons again hopefully all right nice they didn't dodge it um, take down their evasion. We're kind of using this opportunity to maybe farm some experience on this. So if you're on one of the subs, uh, the systems that does have a, uh, a bonus, you do gain experience. It allows you to run that system more efficiently. So our pilot, for example, um, now has plus seven evasion instead of plus five, and we get the same thing on the engines as well. That's good. Okay, 15 scrap. Um, one, two, we can do like three more jumps. So this is the pursuing rebel fleet. This is the enemies. 
If we jump to a beacon that is currently under their control, we are in for an incredibly nasty fight against an elite. And typically, they also have an ASB cannon. Um, I reject your offer. I don't pay tolls. All right, so they are going to actually board us with their enemies. The enemy crew is going to board us. Let's go ahead and put the mantis back indoors. Should have done that before I jumped. Okay, they only boarded us with a human. So... We actually do also have ships unlocked that allow us to use a, this teleporting system. If you board an enemy ship and kill, wipe out their entire crew, uh, that is considered a defeating of that ship. And it's really good to do that because if you do a crew kill in that manner, or it's known as a crew kill, um, you have a better chance of getting free items and just higher rewards in general. Uh, this is a pirate. Should I let you go back? I think you're probably going to go back. Man, they don't have a way to heal. Um, I want them... Okay, they're at 7 health. We're just going to let them live now. I'm curious about something. Okay, Mantis, we're going to check our sensors, and now we can see what's happening in the enemy ship. Oh, they got an NG and another human. All right, no, no. I was going to try some cute potential of getting a crew kill without boarding. Uh, but that NG's gonna do repairs too fast. Uh, if we were dealing with, like, a Mantis, I would've had a chance. And the NG boarded us. Hi, NG. Oh, he boarded me in the medbay? That's lovely. So the medbay's actually gonna heal our crew while they're fighting the other one. It's, um, so FTL is like knowing a lot of different tactics and strategies and knowing when to apply them, as well as, like I said, having information on like what enemy ships you're going to face in a given sector. So like in sector two, our enemy ships are going to have one shield like 99% of the time. Uh, they're going to have three power in their weapon systems, no more than that. But they might be as low as like two or one. Um, all right, so we come across a pirate, they're chasing another ship, and they're offering us money, and we they're just giving us free stuff if we stay out of this fight. Uh, we're gonna be a hero, though. Now, typically, this kind of event has an option where they'll try and bribe us again, like their first offer just wasn't good enough, and uh, potentially we can just get free stuff. Or we can kill them, and there's potential that that ship we save will give us more items. Okay, so it is an Artemis. I really want that Artemis offline. Thank you. So, uh, missile weapons have what's known as shield piercing five, so they essentially, they just ignore shields. No ship has more than five shields. Um... So, and this projectile deals two damage to our hull, but it only takes down a single shield, so we actually turned our power from our shield system over into our engines to give us a little bit more dodge. That's essentially our defense against the missile system currently. Actually, what kind of crew? Oh! Okay, they got Zoltans and an NG. So, NGs are really cool. They actually repair at double the normal speed. Doltons provide uh, a reactor power. So, all of our systems, I'm turning them on and off with uh, reactor upgrades. And Zoltan exploded. So, Zoltans essentially act like free power to run a system. Which is cool, but they have a couple other problems as well. We've got 18 scrap, and the ship we saved, uh, they're dead, but we get, we're gonna, um, essentially steal from their corpses and get some money as well anyways. 151 scrap, uh, let's go to the store. That's a considerable amount of money to go to a store with. 
All right. Um, most augments are just garbage. Um, there's like niche cases where they're they're actually worthwhile, unless it's long range scanners. None of these are long range scanners. Uh, they do have a heavy laser and a heavy laser two and an ion blast. Uh, heavy laser is a fantastic weapon, so we're definitely buying that. Um, it's tempting. Ion blast is also tempting. Ooh, I want the Ion Blast. So, the, the question I have is, eventually enemy ships are going to get harder. Reigniter is always a fun buy too, IMO. Um, sometimes, it is 120 scrap, and that's a, that's a pretty sizable investment. Is, like, how much... So, buying this weapon, I just buy it. But if I, like, want another weapon online, you see I don't have any more uh, bars available for the power I'm running. So I'd actually have to buy improvements here, and that costs to be money as well. But, like, getting that other system online, like that other weapon on top of what I currently have, is going to be, like, uh, 160 scrap on top of buying it. So we're looking at 225 scrap total. And, like, we're, that's a, we're pretty far away away from that. So I am going to buy the Ion Blast just for the options. I'm going to do a couple repairs. We'll get up to 22. 14 fuel is plenty of fuel. It's normally what I like to sit around at. And we don't repair all the way because there will be events that will heal us for free. And... Um... Okay, let's actually not spend any more money right now. Uh, in that I could do ship improvements, like improve my engines. But maybe we'll run into another store. We're really close to potentially being able to, to afford hacking. Um, so we dock with a refilling platform. We could lose fuel, so we're just going to ignore it. Sometimes you get a fight. We did not. Bum, bum. Um, care to take a bit of mercenary work? Uh, sure. Uh, space dock is on assault from the rebels. Uh, let's go ahead and offer to rescue the store. So now we know we have a store coming later down the line in the upcoming sector. One, two, exit. Okay, so engine upgrade and get a power for that. And we'll just go weapon upgrade. We're not going to buy any power right now. I will just move power around as we need. Hi there. Yeah, four projectiles. That's neat. Don't need the ion blast here. Uh, we'll go ahead and put you in shields, though. You're not. Um, Zoltan, human, and another human. Okay. They are powering their weapons, so they will fire. So, we want to utilize what's known as a volley. Uh, we're not just going to... We can actually turn on auto-fire and our weapons would just fire, you know, at, every time they become fully charged or they get their lock on the enemy. But uh, we want to maximize our damage and efficiency, so we're going to use the burst laser to try and take down their shields first. And we actually just heard the sound of our shots colliding with theirs. All three of them. Okay, well, there's no point in firing the heavy laser, so we're just going to wait. Really? Really, that just happened? That's... He's getting all the flukes tonight. Alright, now that the shield's down, we'll fire our heavy laser because it deals two damage and has a high chance of causing secondary effects. You're from Star Control? I'm not familiar with Star Control. Uh, Alright, and we're fine. We didn't take any damage. We're good. What's going on next door? Okay. So this takes one power to run, this takes two powers, so they're a little bit away from potentially dealing us damage. We'll take the opportunity to knock down their defenses. Uh, does that mean you're gonna have a whale of a time? Ow. GG's. This is why you get to have a diamond by your name. Okay, they're now trying to run away. <laughs> it just takes you right back in, like that casino from Star Trek. 
Next, oh, there's another store. There it is. Um, we're not going to take that one, though. We'll just go to the exits. We don't want to dive. We don't want to go behind that Rebels. I don't really have a good enough setup for that. You come across an asteroid mining colony. All right. So if we just shoot a missile at them, we get nothing for it. Um, but we're not really using our Artemis. We won't for a while. So we'll just give them five missiles. And we get 20 scrap. All right, that's money. Next sector, Uncharted Nebula or Uncharted Nebula. So we're going to take this Uncharted Nebula so we have better options down here. Or an option for sector four. Um, immediate store that's not actually connected to anything, which is fine because we know this quest is also going to be a store. Bunch of nebula jumps. Um... All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy a buffer point in our piloting. This will potentially enable a blue option that uh, gives us a high chance of free items. Plus, I'm just a fan of that if that system gets hit, like it still functions. Uh, I will attack the pirate. Look at you and your two shields. Um, look at me and my ion blast online as well. So ions operate differently. They actually don't do damage. They just kind of temporarily knock down a system. Ooh. Or would if it landed. All right, well, their system's down anyways. Let's go ahead and bring back up the O2. So we're in a nebula now. Nebulas, A, the rebel fleet pursuit is slightly slowed down in a nebula. Um, also, sensors no longer function. And there's a couple of vents that are specific only to nebula jumps. Ooh, that was the sound of a breach. That's a terrible offer. So that means that they have to first fix a hole, a uh, hole in their hull before they can actually repair their weapon systems. Ooh, and they have to do it again. Um, um, um. Okay, we can finish them off. Hey, we got 11 scrap and Nikos, the fighting human. All right, Nikos is going to go on doors now. It's great because uh, we don't like our mantis on doors because our mantis is going to deal with borders and, you know, we want them running around and the borders held down by our upgraded doors. That's just fine. And now we're going to, once again, kind of build up a bankroll before we hit the uh, this jump here, this quest. Try and get a store. Or we just hit a bunch of empty jumps and get no money. Nebulas are also more prone to empty jumps than other sectors. Help. Sensors don't pick up anything. So uh, that... I was talking with uh, Thomas and they mentioned that like upgrading sensors might be a better call in nebulas because it also has a series of blue events. Um, I will attack your ship. That's probably a small bomb and that's a heavy laser too. We're kind of safe. If this doesn't hit us in the shields, we're, we should be fine. So there we see like the ion damage. The temporary disablement. Okay, then you just dodge the other 75% of projectiles. That's cool. All right, small bombs landing in my doors. It's fine. It's annoying, but... Hey, landed. That's cool. I think it when my stuff hits. There's mist. Knock down their defenses a little bit. Um, I actually don't need that shield online. We'll get our O2 and our evasion up. Oh, they're having a bad time. I think they're trying to put out a fire now. Um, 12 scrap is a pretty terrible offer. Oh, they got to resist. 
So another fun thing is uh, those augments we were talking about. Uh, some ships, uh, enemy ships, come with augments. So like rock ships have an augment known as rock plating, which means occasionally they will resist uh, hull damage. 24 scrap, much better. Should have got my shields up. I attack the pirate. Um, okay, they got a giant missile here. That's never good. Um, I'm gonna skip the ion blast and go to the Artemis online. Level two shields. Okay, so they got two ions and this giant missile here. There. So technically we have to do three damage to guarantee that this missile comes offline. And they, we missed too many of our projectile shots, though the Artemis did get there, it just took down the two ion weapons. It's a bit unfortunate. Also, this thing is not fired yet. That's like a breach missile then. Okay, we took it offline. That would have been a four damage missile. Because if, if it had not fired yet, that lets me know what kind of missile that is. I would prefer not to eat a four damage missile. Nope, offer's not good enough. All right, weapon system's pretty fried by now. All the breaches. It's uh, one of the reasons why heavy laser is so good. I mean, it's one power, it deals two damage, but it has like a 30% chance of causing a breach, a 30% chance of causing a fire, or stunning enemy crew. Blueprints and debris and the broken machinery. Oh, if we got a crew kill, we would have got something free. Maybe. Uh, power up my engines. Jump. Um, we can take one more fight. Or I want to hit this quest marker. Continue. Really? Two, three, four. Or we can go this back way. I don't mind diving here because there won't be an ASB. Two, two, three, six, seven. We could potentially get so many more jumps. Potentially. Oh, that one doesn't actually connect. All right, we'll just take through the uh, quest now. Uh, rescue the space dock. Okay. Um, they're gonna hack something. Don't know what. <sighs> Weapons. Okay. Okay, now I'm less inclined to get the Artemis just to have a little bit of dodge. They can hit my shields, take both of them down, and that leaves me vulnerable to this. Oh, we had that fun timing where we actually didn't take damage from a beam weapon. Okay, that was really bad because they're, they're going to hack my system down again. I'm thinking about whether I have to run from this one or not yet. Because this is a pretty nasty fight with my weapons being slowed. Uh, okay. Um, let's take down their hacking system, hopefully. Good. All right, so that gives me my volley back. These weapons are slowly becoming distinct because this fires at 10 seconds and this fires at 9. But they're going to time up again. All right, now they're in trouble. Um. 
All right, so we got 21 scrap, five hull repaired, and we get a store. Uh, those are all garbage. I have five crew, which is a good amount of crew for the time being. Burst laser one, burst laser one and pike beam. Both of those are really excellent. Um, but... Burst laser and a pike beam. Uh, we also will need to buy fuel. We're down to four. Like I said, I like to keep about 12 to 14 on tap. Since we already have an ion, we could also go charge ion, but that's not nearly as good as just straight damaging projectiles. Uh, pike beam or burst laser? Pike beam or burst laser? We have the heavy laser one. Go with that. Sell um you. Go pike. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like, if you have, if you're setting up for the pike beam, you then kind of have to use the heavy laser to take down shields. If you like, wait for both, and then you don't take the shield down with you like the burst laser too. Then you have that delay where you have to fire the heavy laser to get there and. Make it work. If we had hacking, then I think it would be fine, but I don't have hacking right now. Um, probably should buy a power bar. Probably should buy a power bar. Stress. Okay. What is distressing you? Um, tiny asteroid belt. Try to shield their ship. We have plenty of hold. We got one damage for six shield and 30 scrap. That's totally acceptable. All right, now we have to put out this fire. Come on, Mantis. I believe in you. All right, we'll heal up. Another option you could do, aside from using your crew to put out a fire, is you can open up uh, doors to the uh, to the uh, outside, and uh, that will drain the oxygen from those areas. And close doors. Oh, another distress. Sure. Uh, giant alien spiders. We had a clone bay or a bio beam. I think a firebomb. Um, but we could potentially lose crew member here. I don't really want to do that right now. I would never want to hurt a crew member. Intruders on board. Okay, you boarded in my doors. It's rude. Um, do we have any other ones? No, just those jerks. Okay, got it. Hey, Thomas. Oh, you missed um, me playing incredibly bad for a while. It was rough. How you doing? This is actually my third run of the night. I had a uh, Mantis C run where I got a free chain ion and a free flak two. So I put the flak two online and then we got into a fight with in an asteroid field against a missile and a heavy laser two. And I had bought a Mantis crew member. So I, they also had drone control and I just boarded. Yeah, streak is over. Actually, I lost the streak, that streak by just combined between my random and my straight one on a stealth A run, where I was halfway through sector four on 353 scrap. And I could not find a store that would sell me. Um, so sector one, I went to a store first jump, uh, soul titanium casing, got level two. Um, uh, level two cloaking. And then next door, uh, I think I picked up a Burst Laser 1 and got that online. So I was rocking Burst Laser, Dual Laser, Mini Beam, which was fine. I was melting ships. And then I got no money. 
I just simply got no money. I hit a store with 110 scrap that I couldn't jump back to. Uh, it had shield system, but not hacking. Went to an NG sector. It had one store which didn't have shields or hacking. I uh, just didn't have systems. And then, like, I was halfway through sector four and just died. Um, yeah, I kind of want to hit you in the weapons. Let's see if I have to use a missile here. I do not. So, I boarded and we're using the uh, Mantis C. So, no, actually, yeah, that's actually, I've lost three in a row. I boarded with the uh, Mantis C into the ship before I saw what kind of drones they had, and they had an uh, anti personnel drone. And I was just like, well, maybe we can, like, rush it and beat them down fast enough. I couldn't. I simply couldn't do it, and I should have just not engaged in the fight and ran away. And if I had seen that they had the anti-personnel drone, then I knew I shouldn't have boarded because that would have been a four on three. And then we had... Ooh, that's a pretty good offer. I'll take that. I need fuel now. And then I had a, uh, this was, this was amazing. Crystal, uh, Crystal B run. And I'm totally blank that I don't have a clone bay. So I board with two crew and it ends up being a 2v2 because of the engine setup. We like boarded into weapons and I wanted a 2v1, but the, uh, where they were in the engines to the relationship to the door, they snuck in into 2v2. And my crew member got like really beat up. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me focus face, face and elite fighter here. Um, so they were at like one health and then I paused and like thought about it for a minute and I just put them in a less viable room, moved my other crew member over and then used the lockdown to leave the one health crew member by themselves. And I was like, all right, this is, this is going to be okay. Right? Um, my crystal vengeance activated and it fired a shard into the room uh, with my one health crew member. That's a gross dodge. So gross. Can I just run from here? I'd like to run. Oh no, now I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna run ever. Okay. Go get that fixed. This is now really bad. Are you kidding me? Come on. So all my shots got dodged. I also should have switched over to the Artemis. And it hit me in the piloting. This is what it's felt like to play FTL tonight. Yeah, what a way to lose a crew member. So then I tried boarding into, it was a two crew ship and I like can't board with one and break a system. Like it just doesn't work apparently. Um, and they had a rock and Mantis and fired a missile into my teleporter. And then I just couldn't win. Ouch, okay. Uh, we're about to be totally screwed again. I'm about to get absolutely annihilated again. Oh, come on. I cannot win tonight. I just cannot win tonight. I cannot win. Um, two shielded ship, I have five projectiles, and I couldn't crack their weapon system at all. Um, I could have put maybe power over here a little bit sooner, but I just, none of my shots hit. And then I also should have moved the Artemis over, maybe got it there, but all the fires and everything. And that's GG's. Okay, so I've now just lost four runs in a row in FTL. Um... Wow.
three, four, five, six. Yeah. I mean, typically it's okay to dive in a nebula because I don't have the ASB. That was just disgusting. Everything started fires when they hit. And, uh, the, ugh. Ah. Um, okay. It's gonna be a little bit shorter of a stream because I'm... I'm afraid I am mentally shot at this point. Um, you know, I don't mind losing. Uh, that one was pretty, pretty rough. Play for RNG gods, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think losing four runs in a row after losing only, like, two runs and 40... 40 some other ones, like, that's... That's enough. That is FTL telling me that I'm not going to progress any further. And plus, I just can't cast. I'm I'm exhausted. So I'm afraid I will leave everyone there. See if I can host up somebody else. Um, somebody else being entertaining. Uh, Martin's doing some Final Fantasy. I'll go ahead and raid them. Martin. Yeah, that was that was painfully rough. Martin Broadcloak. Uh, they're doing some, I think, Final Fantasy randomizer. Very nice streamer. Um, Overlax channel. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess I'll be back in two days. Uh, I'm probably going to just take a bit of personal time away from FTL, rethink my life and all the decisions I've made that have led me to this point, and how whatever was the one that ultimately let me have just that was so brutal. Ah, that was so brutal. Anyways, um, sorry. Sorry for the short cast. Sorry I didn't play particularly well. And, uh, no, that's about all I can say there. So thank you again for stopping by, though. Do appreciate it. Uh, but I will be back, I guess, you know, Thursday, midnight Eastern Standard Time with, uh, something. We'll see. But, uh, thank you all again. Take care. Why is this scene... Oh, Lord. Why is that so compressed? God damn it. And it's scene! Oh, I am so fixed in this. May you find your tower, Gunsmith. There we go. Look at this. Ha-ha! <laughs> -ha! See? Fixed. Nailed it! Relin! Oh, God. Relin, thank you so much for gifting us up to Deck J and Prosperous Guard. Both of you, welcome. Welcome to the quest for the tower. Long days and pleasant nights to both of you. Hi, Crow. Crow in the raid. Welcome. Everybody should go follow Crow, too. There are so many great people who should follow in here. You know, if if Lumi actually, you know, streamed more. May you find your tower. Alan. Alan, have you been drinking? And if so, damn it, where was I? Relan, thank you so much for gifting us up to DJ. DJ, welcome back. That much I do know. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you for continuing your quest for the tower. Oh, I better turn off the edit scene before I really screw something up. Decent budget, so want to spread something here? Well, thank you. You, you know you never have to. You know you never have to, and I appreciate it thoroughly, sir. That does bring up a point, anybody that does have budgets, uh, please, if you're going to bit until, how long is it, the end of the month, I think? End of the month or, like, right past Christmas. Uh, see above me? Yeah. Yeah, please, please, hashtag charity. Anytime you want a bit, please do that. We, we, I unfortunately did the math earlier today of how much money Twitch is making, how much they're giving to charity. Don't worry about that. Skip that part. Um, yeah. Yeah, they, they, it's free money. It is. It's going to a good cause. Whoa, 10 hits. Ow. 
Oh my god, give me the bottle! <laughs> Another power gauntlet. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, 10's nothing. Usually you see 16 or... Nah, don't need it. 16 or, you know, higher. Uh, I want to say max I've seen is like 24 before. That brings back memories. Oh, hi. Uh, brings back memories of my first speed run. Of, um, or my first task on Final Fantasy. I actually used the wizard staff to confuse Kraken 1 and have him kill himself. So, the time I thought was funny, and then I learned a few lessons about, you know, speedrunning. And how to make a task and what I shouldn't do. So, but that was a good time. Opal Shield, don't need it. I Vegas works way better. Oh, those uh, probably are not fun. Checked him in this room. Those are fine. Oh, more of those would be oh, geez, geez, I don't have a clone bay. I do not have a clone bay. What was I doing? I don't have a clone Same bay. Same amount as XP as the dragon, and not having to worry back. about any of that other shit that goes along with. That's how you lose I runs. You shirts. forget everything that you have. I have a dumpy um, heel helmet for it. Okay, sending you out of the room. Punch that crew member's dead. Might not be a bad um, They're not going to die in time. Do they prioritize Once I get fast oxygen? Saw. Eh, it's not a bad move. thing. I'll at least get my evade through the roof immediately. Oh, so. um, lock down. Oh, are you kidding me? Mm, if bad men are bad, evil men way worse. We do want that though. And one punch uh, that crew member's dead. Um, they're not gonna die in time. Do they prioritize oxygen? That they would move? Uh oh, um, lockdown. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so they're gonna come into the room and one Tells how much I value the thief. Um, they're not gonna die in time. Airs hit hard. Do they prioritize oxygen? Ow. That they would move? Uh, that's, that's gonna make 4 4 something interesting. Katana, don't need oh, it. Tent, don't need um, it. Alright. So the down. bottle has to be on the next floor. Oh, are you Either that or I me? missed something somewhere. Okay, so they're gonna come into the room and one punch that crew member's dead. Um, they're not gonna die in time. Which is possible. Do they prioritize oxygen? That they would move? Think in which direction I want to try. Uh oh, um, locked down. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so they're gonna come into the room and one punch that crew member's dead. Um, they're not gonna die in time. Oh, joy. Do they prioritize oxygen? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. That they would move? Uh, not that way. Uh oh, um, locked down. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, Jesus, so they're gonna come into the room and one uh, punch that crew sure. member's dead. And, uh, um, they're not gonna die giggles. in time. Did they prioritize oxygen? Uh, uh, that they would move? Uh, I do have a heal staff. Uh oh, yeah, so um, locked down. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? Not here. Uh, what? Okay, so they're gonna come into the room right, and one punch one. that crew member's dead. Um, Hopes they're and not gonna die in time. Did they prioritize oxygen? That they would move? Actually, they're. Oh, oh no, there's. Um, it's to the, no. Locked down. It's not down. It's this oh, way. are you kidding me? They're right there. 
Okay, so they're gonna come into the room. Shit. Alright, that's bad, actually. I mean, unless I miss... It's not sold in a shop. Uh, no. Mmm, <laughs> don't want to mess with you either. That was two. Did they randomize? Is it no longer two and two? Uh-oh. Does the carpet match the drapes? Nice. Subtle. Hit that sound. 